Okay, so just in case there's any noise going on, I'm working on site today and the other trades. Obviously I can't ask them not to do any work, so there might be power tools running in the background. But just quickly, um, low loss header. This is uh, based, so Wiesman state the size of their low loss headers based on flow rates. This is a Q6, which is six cubic meters per hour, which would allow me to run about 30 kilowatts, maybe a little bit more. At delta T5 which obviously is a very unlikely scenario um, then my low loss header I've worked out the flow in these and the velocity at 0.5 meters a second meaning my first branch off is in 35 mil then I'm reducing to 28 which carries the combined flow of the following two circuits all of the circuits off of this are going to be sized in 22 millimeter but if I size them up this one was 22, this one was something like 18 mil, and this one was about 14, and the other one was about 8 or 9 millimetres uh, for a velocity of 0.9. But I'm not going to go to those smaller pipes, I'm going to stick to a minimum size of 22. And while we're on that topic, you'll be asked if you want a three-quarter or a half-inch valve. Well, that's a three-quarter male, and this is a half-inch female. And if we put them side by side, we'll realize that these are actually both the same size. So you're not actually getting a different size of valve. And uh, it'll depend on what fittings you want to connect on to. So and one more thing I want to show in this video is the difference in the KVS value. So these slots are what provide the sorry, these slots are what provide the resistance to flow through the system. And what we're looking for is a resistance to flow through each of the valve equal to the resistance to flow in the circuit that they're serving. So this is going to be my lowest flow circuit. So with the skinny pipes and the long runs, <coughs> we're only going to get a pressure drop across it if we go through the smaller slit. The bigger circuits with the higher flow rates, um, we're going to get an adequate flow drop through those if we have the bigger slot. <coughs> so have a look at those these are things that make the kvs um, value and that's important for gaining your authority if you have poor authority let's use the big one for this what will happen is that as the valve opens just a slight opening will give us that probably gives full flow which means the rest of the movement over the valve gives us no adjustment uh, if the boiler picks up that the circuit is overheating it will close again and it will simply end up being an open and closed valve like this so by having the smaller slot we obviously need a wider range of opening to give the same flow rate so we get a much more accurate rate of control over that and that's really the principle of authority so okay so i hope that helps and um, i'll try and do a few more videos on these Every time I make one and then look back on it, I always think I've missed some information that someone will want. So I hope this helps.